In this second of our three-part series, we chat with Heath Thompson from Impact Pools and Landscapes, who's just had the opportunity to put the Caterpillar D3 wheeled and track loaders through their paces. Let's catch up with Heath and hear his feedback on the machine. So Tomo, you've just had a blast out here, mate, uh, out at Yatla at the parts facility. So how did the, I guess, the two 46D feel for you? Very impressed with both machines, Jamie. The, the track machine before, picking up the loads, running over those sleepers at pace. Yeah, very impressed, mate. Uh, the ride inside was fantastic. Yep. And uh, obviously the, the pressurised cab and the seals, there was no dust there at all. At one stage, you just dropped a big load of dirt and you almost disappeared behind the plume of dust. I could barely see you through the camera, so nothing yeah. came into the camera? No, not at all. Awesome. Not at all, yeah, it was great. Excellent, excellent. So with the forks on, on this particular model, uh, how did it feel for you? You looked like you had the controls all set there on the, the auto level? Yeah, well you can set those parameters uh, from bottom, from, from when you lift the load yep. to the top and then you can hit it again, trigger to the right, yep. return to dig so to speak, yep. with, with the load return to the level that you're on and, and away you go. And obviously the, the speed of the machine as well can be set. When I was actually tracking you as you were panning around, the ground speed on the machine actually was pretty substantial as well. It was really yeah, moving. Yeah, definitely. On the, on the, on the bigger machine with the, with the track, yeah, that's the dual speed machine. Um, hit the rabbit and away she went. Okay, yeah, She so definitely got up and going. Yeah. Cool. Getting in the cab, the door's wider. The configuration of the joysticks is, I think it's 75mm wider, yeah. which doesn't sound a lot, but once you're in that cab, there was a, a noticeable difference. Definitely. So. I was very impressed with that and the noise factor was very yeah. good, you know. And keeps uh, you super cool while you're in there too. Definitely, right? mate. Yeah. I was a bit Ve jealous today, I got it. Very hot. Um, the aircon, yeah, there's it's very, very good aircon in them. Yep. Um, it's actually got heated seats as well. Yep. Lumbar support, which is a big thing for me. Yep. And look, yeah, lead groom in it was, was great. Controls were very seamless, which you yep. can adjust now. Your hydraulic flows, your yep. speed, um, which with the with the timber on there with the fork obviously you can dial that down um, tracking a long speed can be adjusted now yep. um, which is all on the joystick you, you hit the buttons and it, it can slow the machine down so you can give it full noise with your hand but yep. the obviously the controls on the inside there um, restrict that to certain certain parameters that you, you can set Perfect, yeah. mate. There's a pile of customization on board. Yeah. So, mate, uh, I guess even from things like sitting in the cab, you had your air ride seat, but the suspension going over, you know, the timber here, how did that feel when you were ripping through? Very, you look very, very surprised, mate, obviously. Because you'd never it, go that fast on a real site. Oh, mate. look, if I if I owned the machine, I probably wouldn't be doing that, but um, obviously they wanted me to test it out. So, yeah, full noise there. Uh, look, I was getting bumped around a little bit, mate, but look, yeah, I didn't hit my head once and everything yeah. was quite quite comfortable. I, I ran uh, the camera in slow-mo mode for that, so we'll really slow that down. I'm interested to see what it looks like on the camera because there's, what, 50 mil worth of movement there in that suspension, so it's quite a bit. Yeah, definitely. Awesome, definitely. mate, awesome. So what else jumped out for you as, I guess, you know, a key thing for an operator that, you know, you're really going to appreciate on your day-to-day? -day? Uh, look, for me, I'm in pools and landscaping. I'm running down the side of buildings. Um, dust and things like that is a big thing. So they've actually got the uh, all the exhaust waste and things like that come out from the back of the machine up behind the back window, okay. vertically up. Yep. So that's not stirring up all the dust and things like that Excellent. around the site. So confined space is that kind of thing. Yep. Um, I think that's fantastic. How was visibility um, in there, mate? So it looks like there's, there's, there's plenty of glass and you could also yep. pop that rear window and talk to people. Yeah, who... well, it's two-way glass on the inside there, yep. which, which is great. And look, just the, the vertical lifting with this particular model for yep. me, loading trucks and things like that. You can come in quick, set those parameters again, yep. um, vertically up, tick it in the bogey or whatever you're, you're tipping it into yep. and hit the return to dig. Um, the bucket will swing back down to the height and where you want it, you can spin around and back the other way. So Perfect. Um, that's that's a, the key feature that I would love yeah, and, and use every day. Great time saving features, right? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. perfect, mate. Uh, good stuff, Heath. Thanks for that, bud. Thanks, mate.